Dressing up in the pandemic. Hello and welcome to Fashion Bites. I'm Ellen Byram, author of the Lacey Smithsonian Crime of Fashion, Screwball Noir Mysteries, as well as other exciting books and plays. My mysteries feature Lacey Smithsonian, a reluctant fashion reporter who works in Washington, D.C., the city that fashion forgot. Lacey uses fashion clues to solve crimes. I use fashion clues to comment on clothes, current events, and whatever I feel like. What do I feel like today? I feel like dressing up in the pandemic. Not just throwing clothes on, but occasionally taking an extra effort, as if you were going to go out on the town. After all, we don't want to forget how it's done, do we? Of course not. We still have to practice and maintain our skills. I'm happy to note that there are still people who believe dressing up is a good thing. It lifts your spirits and helps you look forward to the future. One of my writer friends has been posting a photo every day, dressed for cocktail hour in a different dress with a different cocktail. It lifts my spirits to see them and I look forward to them. Others are also occasionally posting photos in their dressed up finery. Why not follow suit? Why would you do it? Because you deserve to look good. We all deserve to look good. Dressing up makes us feel better. It ups our style game. Does it really matter if there are no witnesses or paparazzi? You are the witness to your own life. We all are. So let's go for it. Think about this. Changing clothes, when you dress up, refreshes you. It prepares you for the next activity or phase of the day. You can shed the unpleasant moments with your clothes. Changing clothes is a chance for a new opportunity. During the Gilded Age, women, and granted these were most likely women with money and of a certain class, changed their clothes multiple times a day for breakfast, for tennis or horseback riding, for lunch, for afternoon activities, for dinner or the opera or theater, or possibly for a ball. Imagine how exhausting that would be. But we don't have to change multiple times a day. Once or twice will do the trick. If you don't have a reason to dress up, you can make one. Be creative. You can party at home or in your backyard. I've declared that Bob and I are going to have dance parties on the back patio every Friday evening at twilight. Just Bob and me, some lights in the trees and some dance tunes playing. Perhaps we'll improve our steps or perhaps we'll have a cocktail. I think that calls for some fun cocktail attire, a dress at the very least. What do you think? There may be a fancy dress in your closet that you haven't even worn. You've been holding on to it for just the right occasion. Quarantine might be that occasion. Pull it out and try it on. Enjoy how you look in it. Life is too short for unworn dresses. And these are times that call for our own entertainment. What would Lacey Smithsonian do? Well, after telecommuting and writing her fashion articles while dressed for work, she'd change. She'd slip into a summery dress, weather permitting, touch up her makeup, and she'd repair to her balcony overlooking the Potomac River and gaze at the newly green trees and the birds that play along the banks. She'd play some tunes, perhaps swing or some blues. Lacey would have an iced tea or something tall and cool while having a Zoom meeting with her friends or with her beau, Vic Donovan, something like that. Now, dressing up gives us a reason to remember there are better days ahead. There are things to look forward to, even if it's only happy hour in the garden, cocktails in the living room, and an exclusive dinner in the dining room. So go for it. Just pull out the stops. That's all I have for now. If you want to know more about me or my books or plays, check out my website at ellenbyram.com. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, NPX, New Play Exchange, and occasionally on Instagram. And I will see you next time. Bye.